What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are showcasing a Choice Scarf Zapdos team that also features, oddly enough, Focus Blast Tornadus. You guys are in the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But Galarian Zapdos is one of those Pokemon that is actually very strong on the rank ladder, but just doesn't get that much loving due to how strong the fairy type Pokemon are right now. But I love Galarian Zapdos, super excited to be showcasing off. And like I mentioned, Focus Blast Tornados, a Pokemon that we use so often, but never use it for attacking purposes. Having Focus Blast with this thing, it could do some big time damage and come in clutch. But first Pokemon that we're going to talk about in today's team preview starts off in the top left hand corner, Ogre Pond with Water Absorb and the Wellspring Mask. It's got Ivy Cudgel, Horn Leech for stab move and HP recovery. Then we got Follow Me for a bit of support and Spiky Shield to act as our protect. Second slot is going to be Golden Go with Good as Gold and the Metal Coat as the item to make Steel moves get a boost in damage. It's got Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, Nasty Plot, and Protect, a fairly normal moveset for any Golden Go. In our third slot is going to be Tornadus. It's got Focus Blast like we already mentioned, and everything else is pretty standard from the support side. It's got Prankster, and then Bleak Wind Storm, Tailwind, and Protect. Fourth slot is going to be that Choice Scarf Zapdos with Defiant, and like we already said, the Choice Scarf as item. It's got Thunder's Kick for Stab, Brave Bird for Stab, knock off take off items and it's also rock and brick break which is a stab move but can also break screens because they're so used or they're used so much in the meta right now this slot is going to be hisuian arc now with intimidate and the choice ban as its item great move set here flare blitz rock slide close combat and extreme speed our final pokemon is flutter Mane. protosynthesis focus ash everything's pretty standard with moonblast shadow ball ice wind for a bit more speed control and protect for its fourth and final move guys you want to run the team for yourself let the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Focus Blast Tornadus and Choice Scarf Zapdos team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Sun team. They're rocking out with Nine Tails instead of the Sun, and they also have two other fire types with Ogre Pond and Infernape. So I could definitely see them leading Pokemon like Infernape. So what I should do here is probably go into maybe like Ghost type with Fluttermane. Wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be bad because I know that it's a fake out user, but another thing I see is a lot of physical attackers, actually half and half, so Hisuian Arcanine would not be that bad, but I think Speed Control is going to be great here. I can rock out with Tornadus here, turn one, and I can also go into, mm, I could go Ogre Pond, but the thing is if they set the sun, my water damage is going to get neutralized a little bit, but I still think this thing's hitting like an absolute truck if I terrestrialize it and just uh, start getting after him. So I like that. I like going into Wellspring Ogre Pond. Do I lead it? Yeah, we're going to lead it. We're going to lead it for sure. I'm going to lead both of them. I am going to bring in Hisuian Arcanine in the back end. And last but not least, I'm thinking of going into the Zapdos. Zapdos or Golden Go? I think Zapdos fits a bit more because Flutter Main, with all the fire types on the field, really won't do that much damage. And then Golden Go can't actually take a hit. So Zapdos in the middle right there. Perfect little choice for us. But... Sorry for my lack of uploads yesterday, which was the Saturday. I think it was December 2nd. Yeah, we didn't upload. I actually just got home from a hockey tournament. Saturday, I was gone all day. Had two games like an hour and a half away. Then me and my boys went out for cheesesteaks after after games. But Saturday, we tied both games, which actually gave us enough points to actually make the playoffs or the semifinals. So we had semifinals today, and we ended up losing 3-2. And a nice little heartbreaker. But hey, it was a good tournament. It was a lot of fun. But I'm back recording. So then I'm going into Ogre Pond and Roaring Moon. So I could I could just drop Focus Blast. I could if I want to. I could just set up a Tailwind. And I'm thinking of just setting up a Tailwind here. Tailwind. I could Terrasize if I want to, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to drop an Ivy Cudgel into the Ogre Pond slot. I think it's a fine play. Because after Tailwind, I could just Focus Blast down this, uh, this Roaring Moon. And he would not expect that. Nice little Focus Blast. But we're going to set up a Tailwind. They're going to Spiky Shield the Ogre Pond. That's fine. I mean, we'll take some damage from this Ivy Cudgel, but nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. So I think Roaring Moon is trying to match our energy here and pop another Tailwind. Yeah, and that's exactly what he's going to do. So Tailwind for Tailwind. Smart little play there. We get off no damage and they just make a good call all around. But from here, I think now is a free turn. Just Focus Blast, right? I could Focus Blast or I can just go for a Bleak Wind Storm. And I'm thinking of using Focus Blast here. Let's have some fun with it. Let's drop a nice little Focus Blast and we'll stick with the Ivy Cudgel into the Ogre Pond slot. I just think it's a safe call. 
They're gonna end up withdrawing the Ogre Pond. Cool with that. I'm cool with that. And they're gonna go into Golden Go. So Golden Go gets popping here. Yeah? Maybe they thought I was going for Liquid Storm, but nah. We're going for big time plays here. Big time plays only. Focus Blast coming in higher. End up dropping our attack. Hopefully we can get a crit with this thing because it does have a crit chance to boost it. Talking about Ivy Cudgel, but Focus Blast coming out here. And our opponent's probably like, yo, what? <laughs> They're probably so confused. Ivy Cudgel is going to come across here. It's going to deal a decent amount of damage. And we'll go from there. So obviously Golden Go could pop and make it ring. He could. He could definitely pop a Liquid Wing. Which is getting a little scary. And I'm thinking of just popping a Bleak Wind Storm. Maybe just double it down the Golden Go. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. I like our speed with the Tailwind. I know Golden Go is a little bit on the slower side. And we're just going to Dragon Dance here. So maybe I should have just Focus Blast it down. I'm really hoping Bleak Wind Storm can just do enough damage. I do really hope that. Because he's going to get the speed boost. Bleak Wind Storm's going to come in here. And it does do enough damage. So that's big time there. I'm surprised it went for the Dragon and set up that turn, right? That's a little weird, especially when you're that low on HP. So end up doing that. Ivy Cudgel, can you get the crit here? You don't get the crit, and they're going to be able to get off of, uh, a Thunderbolt. Okay, that is actually... I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I am definitely cool with that. So what I'm thinking of doing is hard swapping into Hisuian Arcanine and just going into my Choice Scarf Bird. I do like my Choice Scarf Bird here. I do like my Choice Scarf Bird. I might Terrasilize him as well. But the thing is, I kind of want to. Actually, I can just finish off Golden Go with, uh, Flutter, with, uh, not Flutter, mean. With Ivy Cudgel. That's probably what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to Terrasilize the bird. And I'm going to just get a choice in a Brave Bird here. Go straight after Flutter, mean. So I'll go after Flutter, mean, and on top of that, I will drop an Ivy Cudgel in that slot. I do like us with the Choice Scarf and the Steel Terror type popping out here. That's big time. That's big time. The bird coming in clutch. But yeah, I was going to swap the Ogre Pond here, but I just think there's no point, right? I mean, we don't need that much damage. I know it's minus one. I'd rather just save my Choice Band to swing Arcanine for late game, especially up against the Ogre Pond. So Brave Bird's coming in hot here, doing some big time damage. Big time damage is an understatement. Just dumping on the Flutter main. Beautiful. Ogre Punch it out. Speed. Bang, bang. See you later. And this turns into a 3v1 situation up against their Ogre Pond. Beautiful. Lovely. We love it. We love it. And with Tailwind's gone, I mean, my bird's just going to outspeed with Choice Scarf. So I was thinking, I was just thinking, Ogre Pond could dump on my bird, but my bird will at least get off a turn, right? We'll at least get off the turn, which is just massive. So, we're choosing the Brave Bird. We'll send it that way. We will also send the Ivy Cudgel that way. And I think that's just easy wins, right? I think that's easy wins. Come on, man. That's too easy. We're starting this one off one now. No problem. I'm saying it now. I'm saying it now. I don't think there's a shot at them. That's right. I mean, I got Arcanine in the back end. No, we're fine. We're thriving here. We're thriving here. So, he's going to Terrastalize. Now, the problem with Terrastalizing is... It does make you neutral to Brave Bird, but I have Ivy Cudgel going in the other slot, so I'm going to be able to do a super effective shot on that. He does get the attack boost. And we'll get off the Brave Bird, which should probably do half. Oh, way more than half. This thing's hitting like a truck. A truck's an understatement. And Horn Leech is going to come out here, and oh. Wait a minute, that really KO'd me? I wasn't really expecting that to KO me. Horn Leech KO'd me. But I'll drop another Brave Bird. I will drop another Brave Bird. We're fine. We fine. We fine. We fine. So from here, I'm just going to pop a nice level Brave Bird. I get the Intimidate off, which is lovely. And then just go Rock Slide. Actually, I could E Speed. I'm just going to E Speed. Because E Speed and Brave Bird combined should just pick up KO. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go for Spike Shield. That's fine. So I'm just going to take Speed. I'm just going to go E Speed. I'm not even going to let him get the chance to attack me. As I was going to say, if he if his, if his Horn Leech somehow gets like a crit or something, KOs me, gets back a ton of HP, that'd be a problem. But combining E Speed with, with Brave Bird, that's just light work. So we're just going to spam that, click that again. No problem. And they just cancel battle. They knew what was coming. 
We're hopping into our second match. Hot start for us in match number one. Looking to go back to back, going up against straight meta. They got Fluttermane, Urshifu, Rillaboom. Then they're also rocking out with Iron Hands, Amoongus, and Shen Pao. I really do like the bird here in the back end. The bird was awesome in match number one. Would love to use it again, especially with that Steel Tower type. Works so perfectly up against a lot of these Pokemon. But somebody that I think they're going to lead is potentially Rillaboom. So Rillaboom could come out here. I could Intimidate if I want to. And going into Hisuian Arcanine is really not bad at all for us. So you know what? I'm going to go into it. I'm going to go Arcanine, and I'm also going to rock in with Tornadus. Yeah, I like Tornadus. Or I can just go Tornadus Golden Go here, which actually looks a bit better, to be honest. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go into both of them. I'm going to bring Arcanine in the back end and keep the Glaring Zapdos cooking. He be cooking. I like him. I like him a lot here. So let's lock that in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to go back to back here and win our second match. But that first match... Went pretty simple for us, right? Kind of just got out our Pokemon, just kind of more of a hyper offensive push. Focus Blast, Tornadus got a little bit of action. That's awesome. Doing a lot of damage to the, uh, to the what's it called? What is that Pokemon saying? The Roar Moon. But going into these two is totally fine. Um, the question is, do they fake out? Do they fake me out? I think it's definitely an option, but I think I just go into that, and I think I'm just going to Nasty Pot here. I really do. I really do like the nasty spot. I could go Dragon Terra. Do I want to go Dragon Terra though? Yeah, I actually do. I actually do want to go Dragon Terra here. I'm gonna Terrasize right off the rip here. And the reason I'm going Dragon Terra is because I'm trying to nasty pot here, and by going Dragon Terra type, it allows us to take not that much damage at all to uh, water moves such as Surge and Strikes, which I do believe could come into the slot. Unless they're just faking out the. The, the Tornadus, right? They could be faking out Tornadus. But he's also going to Tornadus. He's going to put water on Earth Street. Is that right? Yeah, so he's looking to just dump on whoever it is. I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, that he is going after Golden. Because if this is the case, that could be massive. Yeah, he doesn't go for fake out at all. It's huge. So he's probably going for Wild Charge. We'll see how this one plays out here. So I get off the Nasty Plot. I get off the Tailwind. Let's just see who they start attacking. Let's see, Surge Strikes can come out here, and he looks like he's going after Tornadus. No, I made the right call. So going into the Dragon Tower type, mwah, it's perfect. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, because I do think Wild Charge is going after my Tornadus. I doubt you're doubling down into my into my Golden Go, right? I highly doubt that. Thunder Punch. You are, but still, we're soaking that. We are soaking that. We are soaking that. So I really like this turn. At this point, we just go Bleak Wind Storm. As much as I want to drop and make it rain, I'm just going to go for Shadow Ball into the Urshifu slot. That's exactly what I'm going to do. That is exactly what I'm going to do. I'd love to just get rid of Urshifu. Urshifu might even detect here. Could be a little bit of a problem. I want to kind of pop and make it rain, but not very effective on both. A little tough, so Shadow Ball is going to be moved here. Liquid Storm's gonna end up landing. Lovely. Golden Ghost should outspeed. And we're gonna get rid of the Urshfu, no problem. So Urshfu's gone. Kinda hoping Iron Hands leaves my Golden Go alone. <laughs> I would love to get it for another turn here. Yeah. And then just start teeing off. Let's see what he does. This is for Wild Charge. Yeah, he is gonna leave it alone. So Wild Charge my Tornadus. That's fine, you can take it out. I'd rather have my other Pokemon out here with this Tailwind still cooking, right? It's always nice. It's always nice. So from here, I could go into you, or I could go into you, and I kind of want to go into Arcanine at this point, right? Because I know they have Fluttermane, I know they have Shen Pao, so... If I get off an Intimidate, I like it. Yeah, it's going to be Shen Pao. Beautiful. It's a big-time Intimidate coming out here. They get both these guys minus one. Um, Sucker Punch is going to come out here, which is looking a little scary. Sucker Punch is definitely looking a little scary. What do I choice into here? I still have Tailwind up. A choice in the Rock Slide? I think I'm just going to choice into Flare Blitz. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to choice into Flare Blitz. I'm going to try to pull off Mega Rain. Can you eat up the Sucker Punch? They're not even going for a Sucker Punch. So that's massive. So I'm going to be able to KO you. And Mega Rain's going to bring this thing down to Sash. I, I feel you. I got the Choice Scarf Bird in the back end, who they don't know is Choice Scarf. Pretty big. 
and I'm gonna bring you down to Sash. So we'll see what Shen Pao's doing. I think he would just take out the Golden Go, right? It makes the most sense to just dump on the Golden Go. And yeah, that's exactly what he does. So Tailwind, I think, is gone, but having our Choice Scarf Bird is massive. I think the only problem it really comes down to would be if Fluttermane is the final Pokemon. Right? I think that's really what it comes down to. But if their Fluttermane's built anything like the other Fluttermane in match number one, we should be able to dump on it with just a Brave Bird. And now you're going to go into a Moogus. Alright, this is where things get a little whack. Because I kind of wish I choice into Rock Slide at this point. But I'm just going to go Flutter Blitz here, and I'm just going to... Do I choice into Brave Bird? Or do I choice into Thunderous Kick? We gotta go Brave Bird. We gotta go Brave Bird. A little bit of BB here. And he's just gonna drop the Rage Powder. He's just gonna drop the Rage Powder. Actually, this Brave Bird probably KOs, right? Yeah. Awesome. That works perfectly. That works perfectly because I don't think Arcanine can KO. Oh, uh, or Shen Pao can KO my Arcanine. It's supposed to be minus one. And we outspeed regardless, so. Bang, bang. Bang, bang, 2-0. and oh. This team is lightening up on the rank ladder. I'm loving it. Let's go hop into a third. Look for that perfect record. Final match on its way. We are 2-0. and oh. We'd love to make that a 3-0 perfect record for you guys. And we're going up against a Screens Grimstorm. Making me want to bring in the bird with Brick Break. Making me want to do it. And I think I'm going to lead it. I think I am going to lead it and just start spamming Brick Break. So I'm going to go for that. We are 2-0 and oh, this third match. Doesn't really matter, it's kind of just for fun, but uh, Dragapult is also on the squad. Dragapult's a little bit of a threat, kind of annoying, because it does have uh, choice ban usually. But what I see here is also fairy typings, and it makes me want to bring in my steel type, and maybe just Arcanine again. Or I could go Fluttermane. I'm going to go Fluttermane here. I like Fluttermane, especially with its speed. Is your speed boosted, especially with the Sash? Um, uh, it's 187. That leaves Dragapult out speed it. But with Tailwind, I like that a lot. So I'm going to rock out with him. I'm going to rock out with him. But I do have the football scores on here. Making sure my fantasy team wins. Just want to check something <laughs> real quick with uh my running back with Andre Stevenson. See how he's doing. <laughs> and of course, he has a fumble. We love that. We love when he has a fumble. But still, the rest of my players. Actually, my defense just scored a touchdown. Dolphins defense, we rocked him out today up against Washington. We love it. Interception touchdown, so that's eight points. We love it. We love it. That's some big-time points. But um, they end up leading. Back to the action here. They end up leading uh, Grimmsnarl and Iron Hands. So Iron Hands could fake out. Um, I could Terrasalize. I'm going to choice into Brick Break all day. I'm choosing into Brick Break here, and I'm just going to Bleak Wind Storm. And the reason I want to Bleak Wind Storm instead of Tailwind right now it's just because I can get speed drops that way and kind of just keep some pressure. So there's Light Screen. I'm breaking that. I'm just brick breaking that. I'm dropping it. I'm dropping it. So I'm going to send that. It's going to do a little bit of damage. Um, and we get a nice little speed drop. Uh, I think I might pop a Tailwind here. Just for later purposes. But actually, do I really need it? I feel like with how bulky they are, we don't really need it. I'm not even going to pop a Tailwind. I'm going to Brick Break. I'm going to say bye-bye to the screens. I'm going to go for Bleak Wind Storm. And chances are he probably is going to go into like a, a Thunder Punch or something. I'm just breaking these screens. I'm saying see later screens. Now can this Bleak Wind Storm actually KO? That'd be massive. That'd be massive if it KOs the Grimstar. And it does not. That leaves Iron Hands a chance to actually KO me. And that really sucks because now I can get off at least one screen. Mmm. I was really hoping. I was really hoping that. Was really hoping that. But from here, Fluttermane's a call, right? Or do I go into you? He's gonna set up Light Screen either way. He's gonna have Light Screen for the whole match. Ah! Upsetting. Real upsetting. Um, I kinda want a Nasty Pot. I got a Nasty Pot and Tailwind here. I want speed. I want it all. We'll let our, uh, we will let them set up screens. Cause again, he's setting up light screen here. No problem. Yeah. So it's like, if I would have just attacked him, it was really no threat. And he's probably wild charging into my Tornadus, right? So I might as well set speed up for golden go, set him up with Nash plot and then have Fluttermane next to him. I think that's our best bet, right? 
Yep, and there's the wild charge. So wild charge gets rid of the Tornadas. We kind of just let that happen. We kind of need to let that happen, considering that Bleak Wind Storm did not KO. So he will take a bunch of recoil damage. And honestly, oh my god, I wish we had. I wish we had what's called right now. Would be insane. It would be insane to have right now. Um, What is that move even called? What is that move? Uh, Dazzle Gleam. Because then I could Dazzle Gleam, pick up the double KO. And on top of that, I could have set up another nasty plot. If I had Dazzle Gleam, that's exactly what I would have done. Terrasalize like we are, send Dazzle Gleam that way, and kind of go from there. But the reason I Terrasalize Moonblast is just in case he wants to Terrasalize Iron Hands into like maybe Grass to get off another turn. I doubt you're Steel. You could be Fire, but I think you're Grass. And that's exactly why we Terrasalize. And you are Fire, so I'm going to die here. I'm dead. I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. He's going to be able to soak this up. And then he's just going to Heavy Slam. Right, correct? Unless, unless maybe we get a crit? Or maybe I'm underestimating your power. Yeah, we're not KOing you. We're not KOing you. And you have a light trigger. Hurts the soul. The soul's hurt. The soul's hurt. Here comes the Heavy Slam. They're all rocking. They're all rocking Heavy Slam. I had Focus Ash and I forgot about it. We love a good old focus Sash. So Sash is going to come out here, which is big time. Big time. And I still am plus two with gold to go. Urshifu is going to come out here. Urshi Urshi is going to come out here. And I'm just going to Shadow Ball him. Because just in case he's Sashed, I would love to kind of just like double down into him. I could actually take out Iron Hands. I am, I am gonna make sure Iron Hands kind of goes out here. Oh, you have Aqua Jet, you little biscuit. That's fine. You might just wild charge on me. But I think we have one more turn left in Tailwind, and next turn is when I want to just pop the Naked Man's. Start sending him. Are you sashed or not? This might be able to KO you if you're not sashed. I don't know. We're bringing down the red anyway. Heavy Slam. Actually doing a decent amount of damage. But from here, make it rain. Can it KO? I'm definitely gonna try, right? <laughs> I'm definitely gonna try. I'm definitely gonna try. I'm definitely gonna try. Lace screen's still up, which is a pain. It be a pain. But if I pick up a double KO here, we have a hot shot at one of us. Aqua Jet's gonna come out here. Put us down to half. Make it rain. Fingers crossed. Iron hand soaks. I think he's just beefing. He's just beefy out here. He could have Assault Vest really helping him out here. And I think they do. But he's gonna go for a Wild Charge. And can we soak that? We live it on two. And you're gonna die to recoil. Hold up. Wait a minute. I would think they have a very fast Pokemon in the back end, so this does not matter. But I'm hoping maybe they have a slow Pokemon in the back end. And I just drop a big time. Make it rain for the win, right? But again, probably somebody fast to goal to go. Really mid tier. Yeah, I was gonna say probably Fluttermane, right? Yeah, out comes the Flutter main. And that settles it. Maybe miss an attack or something. I'll try to pop the Make It Rain. Might as well try. And nope, there's the Shadow Ball. GG. We go 2 1 for today's video. Grabbing ourselves a killer 2 1 winning record. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Love showcasing this team in today's video, considering I haven't really used Galarian Zapdos in a while on the rank ladder. So it was a lot of fun to rock out with them and rock out with Focus Blast Tornadas. We got to use that in match number one, do some big time damage to Aurora Moon, and then Zapdos was just killing it in all the other battles. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.